the first hurdle is to ensure that the investigative committee, which is the, uh, the Russian um, authority, which is attempting or was attempting to, to prosecute and, and, and jail the 30, um, actually abides by the amnesty and, and ends that investigation. Now, we have to get 30 people over that hurdle. Um, today, we got the first person over that hurdle. Uh, we have to get 29 more over that hurdle. After they've done that, they then need to go to the Federal Migration Service and get the right stamps in their, in their passports. The reason for that is that they were brought to Russia illegally. They were seized illegally in international waters after they'd engaged in a peaceful protest at a Gazprom-operated oil rig. So therefore, they didn't have the right entry stamps in their passports, so they can't leave the country without first having the Migration Service sort out that anomaly. Um, we're very much hoping that this is sorted in a relatively near future. I don't think now that they're going to be home for, for Christmas, the Christmas Day that many around the world celebrate tomorrow. Um, I, think, I think it's probably too early to say at the moment whether or not we would do this again um, or in the, in the short term. Our friends aren't even home yet and they've spent two months in jail. I would say, however, that for the last few years Greenpeace has been going up to the Arctic and taking peaceful direct action against Arctic oil drilling. I was on a Greenpeace ship that went up to Greenland three years ago and then two years ago and then last year um, some of the same people who were in prison. But um, I need to, I need to press. Russia I need, went up to the same rig. Can I just keep pressing you though? Because in the end, the Russians have taken a decision. President Putin said, in many ways, those original charges were not valid. You have a particular point you want to make. The Russians have now made a point in their decision of what to do about your 30 colleagues. Um, I don't know if they necessarily made a point. I think that they bowed to public pressure. Many millions of people wrote to Russian embassies. I think that Gazprom, the company which operated this oil rig and which originally asked for these arrests, bit off more than they can chew. And I think they will rue the day that they took on the Arctic 30 because I think more people than ever know about the dangers of Arctic oil drilling. More people than ever have heard the message that you cannot clean up an Arctic oil spill. And more people than ever know about the effects of climate change um, on the Arctic.